What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, this is a this is one I've been wanting to get to for a little while. I finally have all five. I've been spending time with the ones that are recent to the collection and I do have a new favorite and we'll discuss it one by one what they smell like what kind of performance I get but I'll tell you now it's not gonna be a versatility thing because they're all summertime great daytime flankers so we'll skip that part of my usual segmented line reviews but we're talking about the Tommy Bahama maritime line here is the original we're gonna deep dive into all five so stay tuned So we'll briefly look, because it's just color variations for the bottle, but uh, aesthetically pleasing, nautical themed bottles with a cleat with a rope on it. Like I said, very nautical themed, boat tying off to the dock type stuff. Light blue glass says Tommy Bahama Maritime. All of the bottles I have are 4.2 ounce, 125 ml. It doesn't click into place, but they seem to hold pretty well with decent atomizer. And they're all eau de cologne concentration, but they tend to behave a little bit differently from typical eau de cologne. So with this one, you're gonna get a nice soapy lavender hit. There's a fruitiness here and a nice like uh, fresh spicy hit with an aquatic tinge. So most notably, you'll see a lot of people talk about how this smells like Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. It definitely does. It smells like if Fierce had an aquatic nature to it, a watery feel, it would be this fragrance. That violet leaf gives a real strong uh, aquatic presence that the amber green musk combo very musky watery oceanic feel without having much of a saltiness a little bit if anything it's probably the ambergris doing it you have some bright sweetness sweet spice from pink pepper like i said very strong tie-in to the mont blanc legend scent profile apart from the percival abercrombie and fitch fierce it definitely smells like it belongs in that family of scent profile but again the freshest the most summer appropriate aquatic of them all it's really easy to like this is a solid fragrance and a great base dna for the line the next one we're going to talk about is called maritime journey it's an even lighter more sky blue type of color to the bottle as you see it's even more transparent than the previous bottle see similar but a little bit lighter a little bit more see-through so same thing we'll just touch on it briefly and then the scent profile on this one this one's even fruitier. So there's a green apple note that kind of stands out. There's spices, there's lavender, like it has the same DNA, but this one doesn't smell near as much like the fierce DNA. There's a clear wood note. So this is more of a fresh water feel than just an, a, a you know, violet leaf metallic aquatic tone. There's actual woody, woody watery type of feel, almost like a driftwood without all the salt, if you will, because there's more spice than anything else. You have cardamom and I believe there's coriander here, if I remember correctly from the note breakdown. So you have this bright, fresh, spicy tone, but it's never an overly spicy smell. Like I said, fruity, fresh, spicy, aromatic without being really all that soapy, but very watery and woodsy. That's kind of the base and the core of this fragrance. It's a lovely, lovely scent profile. This was actually the first fragrance I believe I got in this line. And it's probably the most high heat, daytime appropriate of all of them, if I'm being honest, this and one other one really strike me as the best, like super hot, sweating the second you walk outside type of scent profile to really re refresh and invigorate you. For the longest time, until the newest flanker came out, Maritime Deep Blue was my favorite. Here you can see we have a deep dark blue color, goes with the name. This one doesn't hold as well, as you can see, but the scent profile on this one You'll, you'll understand really quickly why this was my favorite is now my second favorite because here you're going to get a nice spicy green feel with some aquatics this is most notable to smelling like polo blue eau de parfum now it's not an eau de parfum concentration but the scent profile smells like that aquatic green feel of polo blue par the eau de parfum specifically the edp i want to spray that again this is so good a little powdery and musky a creamy woodsy feel but a lot of bright green spice here the aromatic here is juniper instead of a hefty dose of lavender there's other florals but they don't really jump out at me as much as things like the water lily providing a little bit of that aquatic feel um, the iris ties into what 
the Oris is from Polo Blue Eau de Parfum. Uh, and then the biggest thing for me is the rosemary really stands out. You get that spicy green feel. Huge fan of this one. It's now my second favorite in the line. But if I was to recommend just one for everybody, and it performs, and we'll talk about it in a minute, Polo Blue Eau de Parfum is not the strongest performer. It's like an average longevity, weaker projecting fragrance. I would say for an Eau de Cologne, this maybe gets an hour or two less of longevity and is a little bit brighter because it's a lower oil concentration. So this is a little bit louder while still smelling like it. It's beautiful. If you're a fan of the Polo Blue DNA, this is right in line with the EDP concentration. Next, we're going to talk about Maritime Triumph. So here we have Navy Blue Rope with a yellow color and navy blue print. So I just love the aesthetic to all of these. So what's different about this one? It still has spices, it still has an aquatic feel back to violet leaf this time. But it's got more of a dry woodsy spice here because pimento and nutmeg are prominently featured early in this fragrance. Mainly the nutmeg, it gives this dry woody spicy tone that if I had to pick one, that I would think is the one I would reach for if I was to, let's say you just have these five. What's the one I would wear in the evening, wear to dinner and such, if this is my favorite fragrance and I wanna have all of them? It would be Triumph. Triumph would be the closest because like I said, it's the driest, it's the spiciest, it's got the most mature, less playful vibe out of all of them. Uh, but at the same time, still not some old man smell, not a super serious fragrance. I wouldn't recommend dressing this one up greatly. If you live in a tropical climate, this might be a nice going to dinner, your average dinner, like steakhouse kind of thing, Margaritaville, go and have drinks, that kind of vibe, seafood place, not real upscale going to dinner kind of thing. Absolutely, this will work. You can pull this one off during the day, but it has a little bit more warmth to it overall. That's why I say of the five, this would probably be the best one to wear in the evenings. Last but not least, it's the best looking bottle, the best smelling one in the line, and it's the newest release. It is Tommy Bahama Maritime Voyage. I'm curious on where they're going to go next to try to top this because this is the best one. This color scheme really fits it. It's got an aquatic sea green type of feel to it. What do I mean by that? So you got sour citrus, you've got lemongrass, so star fruits in there for the sour citrus, lemongrass. And the most interesting facet to this is the Elemi resin provides a creamy nature to it. So grassy green, juicy citrus, a little bit of a sour at like freshness to it from the star fruit because it does stand out. Think the sour citrus that you get in Versace Mano Fresh. That's probably the most famous star fruit used fragrance. Uh, it doesn't really smell all that much like Mano Fresh though. That's kind of the only thing that ties into it. Bright, clean, and musky type of scent profile. This is just beautiful. I love the way they used Elemi resin here. I want to spray that again. It, this is such a nice little hidden gem that really deserves a lot more love. You can get this one pretty cheap. I paid right around 40 bucks from Fragrance Buy. I'll have links to all of these down below on places to find them affordably. If I was going to recommend you get one, this one. I mean, it's, it comes down to these two for me. This is my old favorite. This is my new favorite because it just smells so good. It's the most unique of the group. I would say Triumph leans a little bit more on the unique side, but... There's a familiarity. I could never really pinpoint what it reminds me of, but this one in particular, again, not super unique, but comparatively, it doesn't remind me of any one specific scent DNA like some of the others in the line do. And I think that's due to the Elemi because I think without it, it would smell so much more like Versace Mano Fresh because the lemongrass starfruit combination could give you a very similar, with the clean musky tone, could give you a very similar scent profile if it wasn't for that clean, clean, ugh tongue twist a creamy resin that the LME provides in the scent profile. This, I would say, for me anyways, best smelling one. Now, when it comes to longevity, projection, and sillage, they're all average at best. I mean, they're eau de cologne concentrations, but like I said in the beginning of the video, they perform a little bit better than typical eau de colognes. Now, they're bright, literally. Every single one of these is bright in the opening. It's a lower oil concentration with a lot of citruses at the top, very volatile oils used here. So they're bright. The first 30 minutes, super loud. If you douse yourself in this, you're gonna choke yourself out. <laughs> I mean, be mindful of that. I mean, as it dries, you can just reapply if you wanna relive the opening, but longevity on all of these varies anywhere from three to six hours. 
it all depends on your skin. I mean, some people say it's worse than that for them, but for me, I don't get less than three on any one, and I don't get more than six on any one. Believe it or not, the original is the longest lasting one. I get about six hours of longevity on my skin, with Maritime Journey falling more in the four hour range. And I could believe that, because it's the freshest of all of them. It's the lightest and airiest. I expect it to be the weakest on my skin. I get about four hours out of Maritime Journey. Then as far as Deep Blue, again, I get about four to five hours, which is, like I was saying earlier with Polo Blue Eau de Parfum, I get about six hours or seven hours out of that. If I get around five out of this, you don't sacrifice much, and that one sits close to the skin, whereas this has the Eau de Cologne projection. It's bright. It's much louder in the opening. So in some ways, this is kind of better to get for the money versus Polo Blue Eau de Parfum. And then here, I actually get pretty good longevity out of this. It's been falling in the five to six hour range. I think it's due to the backbone that's provided here, the density of the spices that are added. Things like nutmeg, for example, give this woody spicy tone. It seems to work really well. It's got this warm kind of ambery feel while still having a fruity freshness at the top that kind of ties it into the DNA. And then lastly, this one surprises me. Five to six hours for being the second freshest of the group. I think the Elemi resin is the culprit here for what provides the staying power. Now it's not loud. After an hour, the projection has calmed down greatly and it sits a, a, quite a bit closer to the skin. It's not a faint skin scent, but it's also not really pumping off the skin. Mild to moderate type of sillage where you kind of got to look for it. You might get a little light whiff here and there, but it's not going to constantly remind you it's there. But it is beautiful and it is pretty long lasting. It's just not a real loud fragrance. After an hour, calms down greatly, but the longevity on this one is really good. So not gonna be the longest video here because as far as situations to wear them in, I kind of went over that with the only one that I think really can work somewhat well in the evenings being Triumph because of the woody, warm nature, spiciness of this fragrance, whereas the rest are straight up daytime fragrances. And I would say the best super high heat fragrance of the group being Maritime Journey. Specifically, it's the weakest performing because it's also the freshest and watery, most watery of the group. And then with the other three kind of falling somewhere in the middle in longevity, performance, the scent profile, just great everyday fragrances if you like fresh stuff. You like fresh cheapies that have a beautiful aesthetic, very nautical theme to these bottles. I would encourage you checking these out. Like I said, I'll have links down below to all of them. There is not one bad fragrance among them, but there's also not one standout phenomenal that is an absolute must have. They're all just pretty good fragrances. I would say across the board with the highest rating being an 8 out of 10 in Maritime Journey. Uh, Maritime Voyage for me, followed by a 7.5 out of 10 for Deep Blue, then another 7 out of 10 for both Maritime, Maritime Journey, and Triumph. They're all very good. One of them, even great for my taste, which again, was Maritime Voyage, but this is just the way I feel about them. Obviously, get out to a Tommy Bahama store and try them. They do have testers for you to try. Some department stores will have testers for you to try. Just check them out. See if they're worth it because you can get them for a real good price online in a lot of rack stores. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. Of the five versions of Tommy Bahama Maritime, which ones do you have or have you tried? Which one piques your interest? Do all of them pique your interest? Two of them? None of them? Complete passes for you. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm very curious. And until next time, I will say if you get your nose and you sample any of the five in this line, you give them a chance. Give them a spray now. You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.